Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I got these bomb super long faux locks, stay tuned. you're like me and love long hair i'm gonna tell you now bobby boss did their thing when it comes to these faux locks i've seen so many videos of people tying their locks together to get this length but they went ahead and made it 36 inches of glorious hair and listen i was excited when i got to install these starting out with freshly washed hair i'm going to go ahead and part everything off camera parting usually takes me a while which if you have the same problem i would honestly suggest you ask someone to do it for you because it literally took me the whole day don't think it was supposed to but it definitely did now i do know how to cornrow but honestly i don't like the gap at the very back since i'm terrible at connecting the braids it always ends up very lumpy and noticeable hence the individual locks now, i'm just using do grow and sulfur 8 on my roots so we can get some growth going during this protective style the shine and jam was more so to keep my hair nice and together in the individual braids and then i added hair to any parts that seemed a little too frail to crochet by itself To be honest, this hair is entirely too heavy to put up if you use the same amount that I did, which was three packs. And there's 24 locks in each pack, so in total I have 72 locks in my head. As far as the install goes, I used a regular crochet method, pulling the lock through the root, then grabbing both my hair and the end of the lock and pulling it through the crochet to create the knot. Once that's done, I'm going to unravel the lock in the opposite direction and wrap it around my braid to conceal it. With the wrapping of the lock, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it changes the curl pattern of it. You can definitely tell where I ended wrapping the lock. So if you want it to look all the same, you'll definitely have to corn roll your hair and crochet it in that way. Now, I have had this hair in for a few weeks, so let me give you guys the rundown. As with any protective style, the longer you wear them, the more natural it starts to look. However, it does start to tangle together. And for this amount of hair, it is damn near impossible to put it up without your neck giving out on you, honestly. So, washing your hair is definitely a bit of a problem, but not impossible. And if you have any problem spots with thin hair, even braiding it with extra hair sometimes feels like it's not doing what it needs to do because of the length of the lock. Some of my parts definitely should have been added together, but I was super focused on it being even on both sides and using all three packs. Also, it tends to snag on like any Christmas decorations, doorknobs, sometimes it gets stuck in the door, which is, you know, to be expected, not to be expected, but kind of to be expected with longer hair. Money, money, Overall though, I do really love this hair. It didn't take me long to install at all. I think the parts was literally the hardest and longest part of this whole install for me. They're super, super light. Um, I've been dancing with them. If you guys don't know, I pole dance and I've been dancing with them and they have been so, listen, they look so good, okay? And they don't make my neck hurt at all, which is something I was kind of worried about. So just giving all the heads up, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all, actually. And overall, they just look so good. And I've had them in for a couple of weeks now, and they just look so natural. I absolutely love them. Anywho, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, share, thumbs up this video. Leave some comments below on how you're feeling this hair. Are we loving it? Are we not? You guys should definitely try it, and everything will be linked in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!